Hey readers, today we're going to be looking at how we can determine the main idea and support details using a graphic organizer. So a quick reminder of good steps and strategies to help you identify the main idea or what this nonfiction article is mostly about is to read closely and really look at those details, finding those related details that keep coming up that all can be put in together as one group or one main idea. The subtitles, the title and the bold print, those text features will hint to you what the important information is. Some articles have a topic sentence right in the beginning, and sometimes it's even restated in the end of the article, um, and that it gives you what the author's main purpose was. In the end, you can always ask yourself, what was this mostly about? And if you can answer this question of what it's mostly about and put that into words, chances are you have a great main idea statement. So let's look at Buckle Up. Should school buses have seatbelts? As the wheels on the bus go round and round, many kids are getting bounced around. Many students are getting injured on their way to and from school. A new study published in the medical journal Pediatrics shows that about 17,000 school bus related accidents occur each year. That's more than double previous estimates. Those range um, from cuts to broken bones. So looking at right here, we'll read closely and look at those text features. It looks like this is a subtitle. So I'm just going to circle this. Should school buses have seatbelts? I'm wondering if this is the main idea already. Let's see if I can find details that would support the main idea being people wonder if school buses should have seatbelts. So when I look in this first paragraph and I read closely here, a new study published in Medical Journal Pediatrics shows about 17,000 school bus related accidents occur each year. That definitely is related to this argument, should school buses have seatbelts. Let's look at the second um, paragraph. Researchers report that crashes aren't causing all those bumps and bruises. Students are getting hurt in many ways. Slips and falls, getting jostled during stops and turns, and roughhousing are other ways kids get hurt. Nearly one quarter of those injuries occur when kids are getting on and off buses. So this really doesn't support the argument for seatbelts other than the kids are getting up, right? Slips and falls getting jostled during stops and turns and rough housing. So it's not always just crashes, but I do see that if you have a sleep seatbelt, you wouldn't be getting up and getting jostled during stops and turns and roughhousing other kids. So students are getting hurt in many ways, slips and falls, getting jostled during stops and turns and roughhousing or other ways kids get hurt. Again, I think this is a detail that would support what I'm thinking might be the main idea, should school buses have seatbelts. Though numbers are high, or they, higher than thought, they represent a small fraction of kids. There are about 24 million kids who travel on school buses each year. School buses are still the safest way for kids to ride to school, according to the National Transportation Association. I think this is the opposite. This detail does not support that as the main idea. It doesn't tell us we should have them, but it kind of talks about the argument, you could say, of are they needed? Are school buses needing those safety belts. Um, so I'm going to highlight it. I'm just going to maybe write real quick in the origin. A for argument. Sorry, my hand cramped there. These results may prompt stronger arguments for requiring safety belts on buses, but not all safety experts agree that buses would be safer if they had seat face safety belts. Safety belts wouldn't reduce the injuries um, and wouldn't be worth the added expense for school districts, says the National Highway Safety Administration. So again, remember I talked about how this topic sentence idea comes about? Well, if you look here, this is kind of restating what we were talking about at the beginning here. Should school buses have seat belts? This says these results may prompt stronger arguments for requiring safety belts on buses. I would say this is input T. This is definitely the topic safety, uh, sorry, the topic sentence, not the topic safety belt. 
So we have what looks like two really related details, maybe even three. You can say this argument is related because it's discussing whether or not they should have these safety belts on buses. And this looks like my topic sentence, which matches this text feature of the subtitle. I would definitely believe that the main idea has something to do with people or officials are arguing whether or not safety belts are required on buses. So that would be my main idea. I have an organizer like this that you're going to be working with a teacher on. They'll type it for you because I want you to just focus mostly on the thinking today and not get caught up on the typing. So we said my main idea was officials are arguing whether school buses need safety belts. All right, check my spelling there. So the details would be the details that support that main idea. That means that they're related to that main idea, which means that they are a part of that main idea. So we said a new study published in the Medical Journal of Pediatrics shows that there are 17,000 school bus related accidents that occur each year. So I'm just going to put 17 thousand school bus related accidents each year. This is a little bit smaller than the one you'll be working on just because I transposed it into this flip chart. So you, we had everything in one document. The other detail we said is students are getting hurt in many ways, slips and falls, getting jostled. Students are getting hurt in many ways, slips, falls, rough housing. And a third detail I believe that we said was that argument that though the numbers are higher than thought they represent a small fraction. I'm going to just say that some argue that the injuries represent only a small fraction of students, only a small fraction or number of students riding buses. So the, the check here to see that if you, the main idea is definitely the golden goose that you want when you're working on main idea. That's the whole purpose of this. But the details are also important so once you have completed your organizer, ask yourself, what is this mostly about? I would say this is mostly about school bus safety belts. So I agree with that statement that we came up with. Officials are arguing whether school buses need safety belts. So look at all of the details. The detail one, detail two, and detail three are all related to this idea that people are arguing whether or not they are needed or not needed. If you were in a courtroom, I feel like these were things that people would say on opposing sides to tell you whether or not they are needed. So this is how you find main idea. In summary, this is what I want you to remember when you're working today, one-on-one um, -on -one or two-on-one -on -one with your teachers. Read closely to make sure that you understand um, and think about the, each detail. I would pause maybe after paragraphs and see which one's an important detail or which one's an interesting detail. Look at the pictures for clues, titles, subtitles, bold print. Try to identify the topic sentence. And at the end, ask yourself, what is this mostly about? What is this mostly about? Good luck.